Hey, that is my baby. <laughs> Welcome back. The surgeon said it went great, and the nurse already gave me all the paperwork and things for us to take home. I said it's always easier than giving it to the patient. Yeah, they got all four out. You are officially wisdom tooth free. The nurse said you should be all better in a week or two, but you're going to be sore for a while. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think you lose your wisdom when they take out the teeth. You're okay, baby. Just as wise as ever. They even put the teeth in a little bottle for you to keep if you want. So you can take the wisdom home with you. Yeah, you're going to start feeling some pain as the freezing wears off, but they're giving us some ice packs to help, and I've already got your prescriptions. I gave you the good stuff, so I don't think you'll be feeling your face for a while. You can take some once we get home and you're settled into bed. Whoa, whoa. don't sit up too fast there. You're going to be a bit groggy from the sleepy medicine for a bit. We'll head home once you feel a bit more steady, so until then, don't rush yourself. The world might still seem like it's on its side. <laughs> well, thank you. I think you're so pretty, too. <laughs> I forget how adorable you get when they give you laughing gas. You were this silly when they took out your appendix, too. Kept telling all the nurses who'd walk by to keep away from me or you'd totally beat them up. <laughs> Even held up your sleepy fists. Mm -mm, no, shaking your head doesn't change it. <laughs> yes, you are silly. But you're my silly boy, so it's okay. Besides... I'm just as silly as you most of the time anyway. Come on. All right. I think we have everything. Gauze for your mouth, painkillers, instructions for the next few days, and... A loving boyfriend who's willing to take care of his boyfriend so they don't have to lift a finger. <laughs> Who is me, you silly duck? Unless you have a spare boyfriend hiding in your closet at home I don't know about. All right. Let's try sitting up again. Hold my hand slowly now. Hey, there we are. Upright and looking only a little bit dizzy. <laughs> you feeling nauseous at all? Oh, that's good. Let me know if that changes. How about you sit tight? I'm going to go check with the nurse if you're good to go home, and we'll get you moved to the car and then head out. Sound good? Perfect. Okay. Be right back. Here we are, home sweet home. Or really, bed sweet bed. <laughs> Just let me grab a towel for your pillow. Oh, trust me, you're gonna want it. The gauze is gonna keep your mouth open and the freezing will mean you can't feel when you start drooling. Don't ew me. This is why you'll thank me for the towel later, especially since I'm going to be the one doing laundry for the next little while. Just lay down, silly duck. No arguing with Nurse Cardlin. I know what's best. Well, I am nursing you back to health, so I get to claim the title of nurse. If you're very good, I may even be willing to find a little nurse's cap to wear for your amusement. <laughs> no, no, no. That is all you get. 
Now be a good boy and sit still. You're lucky you have an expert on wisdom teeth surgery with you today. You know all the tricks and what to expect. Drool, hmm, drool is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I had mine out in college over the summer. Mom was nice enough to take care of me, so, you know, I kind of have an idea of what you're going to need. Well, for starters, all the soft foods for you for the next few days. Eggs, mashed potatoes, soup, things you don't really need to chew. Lots of fluids and juice to keep you hydrated, you know? <laughs> if you stop making ew faces at me long enough, I might even uh, bring you some chocolate pudding and jello. Yes, my swollen little chipmunk faced boyfriend. All the chocolate pudding you can eat. Having dental surgery means you get to enjoy some treats while you're getting better. Mm. You won't be able to rinse out your mouth for a bit, or you'll get dry socket. I'll explain that to you more once you're actually awake. Just suffice to say, it's no fun, and makes recovery no fun. Yeah, It's a good thing you decided to book some time off work. You'll be up and feeling a lot better in a day or two, but you'll still be pretty uncomfortable. When you try and eat, in about a week or so, ooh, especially... I'm sure your co-workers will understand that you need some time to recover. You know, drool isn't something they want to see. Okay, okay, the angry chubby cheek face may be one of the cutest things I've seen, but I'll stop teasing you since you can't argue back very well with the gauze. <laughs> now, I set up with lots of water next to the bed, extra gauze when you need to change it, and the remote, of course, so you can binge whatever show you want today. Or were you just wanting to sleep off the rest of the drugs for now? All right. Netflix and painkillers it is. Mind if I keep you company? And, more importantly, can I have some of the pudding I'm going to make you? <laughs> yes. Best chipmunk ever.